What's going on guys, White Widow Super here. You may know me as the AK, that stands for Anti-Lag King. And uh, we're going out to Bradenton Motorsports Park. They're gonna have an event out there. And they're gonna have my favorite thing, Anti-Lag two-step competition. We're gonna go out and we're gonna win it. See you there. What's going on guys? So that intro there you just saw, we were gonna enter an anti-lag competition a few weeks ago, but we just weren't able to. And this here is we tried to install a dump tube on the Miata yesterday. What's going on guys? So I know it's been a little bit since I've uploaded a video and I think it's just been a little slow around here, but today um, we are going to try to solve a problem. Uh, pulled the Supra out of the garage, Alejandro's here. He ran over to grab the Miata. So one of the issues we've been having is that, uh, you know, just because it's a cheap, eBay turbo kit, basically the turbo in the manifold is pressed right up against the wastegate. So essentially what's happened is when we drive it and uh, wastegate opens up, it's blowing the flames directly into the turbo. And that's how we think that we ruined our first turbo. And we put a turbo blanket over it, hoping that would solve the problem. But then the turbo blanket uh, pretty much caught on fire and disintegrated. So since then, we, uh, we bought this little kit that has a dump tube that kind of turns. So we're gonna hope for the best. And uh, we picked up these ramps. And uh, this is what we're gonna use to try to jack it up, get it off the ground just a little bit. So trying to see where he's at. I know he ran over to grab it. And then more super videos are coming. So I posted something on Instagram and you guys wanted POV and all these different things. And uh, we're gonna go out and we're gonna do them. There she is. All right, should get us off the ground a little bit, just enough to get under there so we can kind of see. But if you look here, um, what happened was you can see that I'm sure it's gonna be hot, but uh, part of the turbo blanket, and it is hot, let's burn myself. Part of the turbo blanket's completely blown out. Um, I'm gonna try to repair it, put it back together. But uh, hopefully we have just enough room. We have a spacer too, so we'll drop the spacer down. Uh, put the spacer in, then it'll drop the wastegate down. Hopefully that works. So we'll see. See the aftermath of our turbo blanket. <laughs> oh, it's destroyed. Is it? Yeah. Beyond repair. You have a sewing machine. Uh, that sucks. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so this is effectively what's happening because we don't have a dump tube. So that force there is uh, pretty much going straight into the turbo. So I'll order a new one of these. It's a wrap? Yeah, I mean, that's literally, literally a wrap. We gotta hang on to this. This is, this is like memorabilia. Um, I mean, I'm really hoping this works. Let me show you guys what we got. So we're working with very limited space, um, but I saw this kit on Amazon and uh, I don't have my official unboxer, but it has this little uh, like curve. So we think that with this curve and possibly putting the spacer in there, it drops it down enough just to, uh, Yeah. it might. All right, so as you can see, both those things have failed. It has not been a successful few weeks for us. Um, but today, we're, uh, we're gonna talk about Alejandro's EP3. And uh, it's for sale. So this is a 2003 EP3. It's actually one of my favorite cars um, in this color is absolutely, you know, I love it. If I was gonna buy one, this is the color it would have to be. So the wheels are for sale or trade. Um, he'll take stock wheels um, plus cash. Um, other than that, you sell the whole car for four grand. Um, and that is a no haggle, that's it. Don't ask me for 3,800, 3,900, it's four grand. You come pick it up and that's it. Uh, clean title, ready to go. So let's go around this thing. It's super clean. It's got a really nice, a lot of really nice JDM parts. Um, what kind of wing is that? Do we know? I don't know. I don't have some Mugen grill. Mugen grill. I'm not too familiar with the Honda game, but uh, they're really nice, you know, not rep parts. Can we look at the engine bay? Sure. Let's check out this engine bay. Let's check out this K series. K. We could be K gang. Typical, looks like a K-Series with an intake, yeah. And it runs nice. Uh, this boy here let it sit under a tree, so 
<laughs> this needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it is a super clean, really nice car, um, especially for the price. You know, the wheels were, like we said, 2,600 bucks brand new just for the wheels. So you're getting a lot of nice stuff here. They were bought back in like November, December. So yeah, yeah, they're, they're pretty new. There's no scratch or curb, nothing on them, right? The wheels are perfect. So the wheels are perfect. There's a lot of tread on the tires. Um, what are they, 17 by nine? I think they're 17 by nine. 17 by nine. We don't know the offset. We do know they fit a Miata as well though. Um, it actually fits a full body Miata, perfectly flush, I got that everything. Has engine mounts and I have here the- Nice. The tranny mount, I just have it. Yes, nice engine mounts, but it's a really, really nice car. And uh, do you know what you're gonna get next? I know you want a rotary, right? Uh, I'll probably do an FC. FC? FD. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna push for an FD. Uh, FD is pushing it. I'm gonna push for an FD. All right guys, so for a while now we knew we had a problem. We just didn't know how big of a problem we actually had. So that brings us to why we did the dump tube, wherever the dump tube box is. You grab that little box over there. Um, so I showed you guys the dump tube. Um, unfortunately, it did not work. So the wastegate is so pressed up against the turbo that even with these little bendies, um, there's no way we could make it work. You basically have to cut and weld and try to extend the dump tube. Well, getting back to uh, the Miata almost catching on fire and being saved by the turbo blanket. The car has oil leaks like crazy uh, and possibly a gas leak up in the same area. So I wanted to find out exactly how flammable uh, oil is, but I guess you're saying it's not, right? No, it'll, for example, you have a hot manifold, uh -huh. oil, it's like leaking to it, it'll catch up on fire. Right, so. But it's not like I light up with a lighter. Okay. What about E85? Yeah, that, that's. Flammable? Okay. We're gonna test it out? Okay, so we're gonna test it out. So, um, the problem is, so we're gonna solve the oil leaks first. That's first and foremost. Um, so we got a whole kit here, and we're just gonna take care of everything all at once. We have every seal, um, all the belts, water pumps. We're gonna go through, and we're absolutely going to take care of all the leaks once and for all. We already did the rear main seal, so we're gonna take care of that uh, and everything, because it's, it's really bad. And we got some E85 here. Uh, so we're gonna do a little, whoa. So hold on, can we <laughs> put the can far away? I'm already losing the, the octane. What do you mean? Losing the octane? Do you want like a longer lighter or something or are you just gonna do it with the little baby one? That's a lot, that's a lot of 85. <laughs> oh, that was quick. See? Yeah. So that's essentially what would have happened to the Miata. So a while back we put a turbo blanket on there and the turbo blanket we thought would uh, See, we think we're cooking the seals inside the turbo because the wastegate's pressed up against the turbo. It opens up, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys this clip. When we took the Miata out the other night, uh, we were testing out the wing. You can actually see the fire and the flames coming straight out of the wastegate. Check this out. All right, so apparently this thing gets super orange from the wastegate. video we had the turbo blanket on the car and good thing that we did let me show you guys this turbo blanket um, this thing is absolutely just demolished um, that's what was happening inside the engine bay uh, right pressed up against our turbo so we definitely have to solve the problem for a dump tube we're gonna go to 360 customs and uh, just have them make us a custom tube weld some stuff up so what I want to demonstrate is can we put E85 inside here and then light this on fire and just see like, I don't know, how good is the turbo blanket? All right, so we're gonna try to demonstrate exactly what goes on inside of that turbo blanket. Uh, it's kind of blown apart, so it's not gonna be like a real good demonstration, but um, I think this is why the Miata got saved because like I said, there's a lot of oil, possibly a gas leak, we're really not sure, but when that wastegate opens, it's blowing a ton of fire out. So good thing we had the blanket on when we did this. So just wanna pour a little E85 on there and just see. Can we, can we like put it towards the top and kind of like drip it down? Ooh, wild. You put a lot in the cup, didn't you? Here's the lighter. I did. Go for it. Whoa. Okay, so essentially, it'll burn the inside of 
but it looks like the outside doesn't catch on fire at all. So that's really good. So at least we know with like a $20 cheap turbo blanket, um, if you have a fire, it will be contained inside turbo blanket. Right? Or just destroy the Or just destroy the turbo blanket. Well, basically, listen, you're not gonna have E85, you know, in your engine bay, um, or you might. Well, you at do, the same time, if you do, yeah, you have a problem. So luckily, our turbo blanket saved our Miata.